Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with a review for The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia. I was actually sent this copy from the publisher in exchange for my honest review, so thank you so much for sending me the copy of this book. It's to help promote the new cover for this book. And can we just take in how gorgeous it is? I love the ombre so dang much and the spine is so pretty. This is the old cover. Ooh, ah. And I've got to say that this one is like 20 million times better. Just saying. So without further ado, let us get started. This book follows 17-year-old Frankie Duvois. She is trying to forget her past, the one where her boyfriend Noah was beaten to death at a nightclub in front of her. After making a mistake, Frankie is forced to move in with her father who is an undercover cop working in the car theft industry. On the first day of her new school, Frankie meets the bad boy Marco Leone. This is when she decides that she doesn't want to live the safe life everybody wants her to and she's going to begin to take even more risks. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. It's described as Fast and Furious meets Romeo and Juliet and I definitely agree with that synopsis of it. I loved every single one of the characters in this book. Frankie was annoying at times and she got on my nerves constantly, but I really admired her because she stood up for what she believed in, no matter what. She wouldn't take no for an answer. And you know, I'm, I can't do that most of the time because I'm, I'm, I'm scared of everything and conflict and that kind of stuff. But Frankie was very strong-willed. She was very overdramatic at times and I constantly wanted to shake her and tell her that she was being an idiot for the situation she put herself in. Plus her temper tantrums were kind of annoying most of the time. It got very old very quickly but I still really liked her as a character. I think that Marco is such an underrated character. He had so much potential and I wish that we saw way more of him than we did. It was mostly Frankie's story but I definitely wanted Marco to be in it more. And I wish that there was like a spin-off series with Marco. I loved his character and how he cared for Frankie and his little sister Sophia. You could tell that he would do anything for that little girl and I just loved that part of his character. Lexi, who was Frankie's best friend, was also an awesome character. She was so loyal and supportive with anything Frankie did, even when she was being stupid and getting herself into situations that could have easily been avoided. Lexi was always there to stand by her side. Frankie definitely did not deserve Lexi for a lot of the book, so I mean, good for Lexi for sticking that out, but I would have been so much angrier at Frankie for the things that she tried to pull, and I just, nope, don't know. So, good on you, Lexi. You're clearly more loyal than me. Cruz was also a favorite of mine. She was so sassy and badass and feisty and just everything about her made me so happy. She would not take anybody's bullshit. And I just, oh, I wish I was more like Cruz. I also really liked how every single character had their own backstory and things that they were dealing with in their lives and it wasn't all solely focused on Frankie and her problems. I found the book so hard to put down. It was so fast paced and enthralling and just I was so invested in the story right from the beginning. I wanted to know what was going to happen next. It definitely kept me on the edge of my seat. The writing style flows very nicely. It made it very easy to read. There was no like weird choppiness to it. it I read the book in two sittings because you know it was like 2am and I needed to go to sleep but as soon as I woke up I finished the book. The romance between Frankie and Marco develops very quickly which is why I'm only giving it four out of five stars because if you've been on this channel for a while you know like insta love is not my thing. I usually hate it with a passion but, but I don't know why. Something about Marco and Frankie it just worked for me and I loved the romance and I just thought they were adorable together. I really liked the cute things that Marco would say to Frankie although they were like completely cliche totally terrible movie lines just for some reason I loved it and I loved how he called her angel all the time. I was like my little heart cannot take the cute. I don't know why because usually I would hate these things but just something about them. The book was very predictable. I was able to call who had murdered Noah right from the beginning. It was very obvious but I still really enjoyed it. The climax of the book was so action-packed. I was like sitting there like, oh my god, what's gonna happen next? And like, I really liked that part. The conclusion wrapped up nicely. It worked for the story. It was a happy ending, so you know, that's good. But 
overall I think that the book was very cute, it was action packed, it was exciting, and I definitely recommend it if you're into YA contemporary books. Alright guys, so that was my review of The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia. Thank you again to the publisher for sending me a copy of the book, I appreciate it. You should read the book, it's lots of fun. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!